are in the world it's an amazing day once again you know it's all loud out here because it's a new moon and you know <laughs> and everybody wants some energies to dive into so welcome back to the divine truth where we bring out the truth in any concept so today we're going to be speaking about setting our soul free from the labels that people give to us <laughs> This really has been a challenge for me, myself, because there are so many people from where I live from that knows my image before I came away, before I entered into the spiritual path. They know my self-image before. So every time when I meet them, every time when, <laughs> when Tulu meet those people, Tulu will, will start to react the same way that he used to react back in the past. And he used to ask himself questions like, why is this happening to him? <laughs> why, why does he keep on going back to the unconsciousness that he had before? Isn't he a spiritual being? And then he started to realize that this only happened to people who knows who are connected to him from his past soul. Then he started to realize that actually he is a spiritual being. So every single day he is evolving. So whenever he's evolving, people will be grasping to the label, especially people who lived with him for a long time, who were close with him, who knows, who knew a lot about his childhood, about his family and everything. So he would feel like those people know, know me and those people are trending me. And he started to realize that basically those are what people project to him. They have thoughts and memories of what he used to do before. So whenever they look at him, they project those thoughts and labels onto him. And because Solo was busy trying to get out in order to be had, then he will be trapped in those labels and he will go back to his unconsciousness. And he'll be like, what's going on? Why am I going back to my same problems that I'm trying to get away from? Then he started to realize that the only way for his soul to be set free is for him to start to accept all the past that he had. Because sometimes he will meet people whom he used to attend church with, the church of fear. And then he will start to feel the fear and he will feel the urge to change the way he is. He will start to be in reactive mode. He will start to get out of his own vibration. Then he will start to realize that he's lasting things that he's never been lasting before. He's having desire for things that he's never wanted to have before. And now he's panicking about his dreams. Now he's panicking about his things. Then recently he started to realize and recognize that basically what's happening is that those people are inside his body. Spiritually so they are traveling because <laughs> we are spiritual travelers, baby. That's why we are astral beings. We are beings who travel through the stars. So don't see me here. I'm traveling, baby. <laughs> I've been to places that I've never set foot on because I'm a traveling being. So Tulu started to realize that on his journey that because he's traveling, he's leaving his body so many times. When he leaves his body, people will get into his body mind. And everything that is stored in his beautiful mind, people will corrupt the mind. It's like getting out of the house and the virus comes in, start to, to, to virus everything, <laughs> start to infect everything. So that's what he realized in his journey. Then he started to realize that what he has to do is really simple. He just have to be present in his own body. He just have to accept all the images that he used to be. <laughs> because Tolu used to be a fast speaker. He used to speak so fast that he couldn't even hear himself. He was not listening to himself most of his life. He used to be afraid to express himself freely. And now he's expressing himself with joy, baby. Because <laughs> he's connected to the universe more. And he's realizing that every time when he speaks to the universe, the universe speaks to him back. So that's the beautiful thing and amazing realization that he started to have in his journey. Then that's when he started to realize. Actually, let everybody have labels of me like they want to <laughs> but I will stay in my vibration baby and I will be labelless because I'm an infinite being having a physical and temporary experience so from me solo fellow Asha I say it's a beautiful 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 day once again and I say stay peaceful stay joyful till we meet on the next video